Hey everyone, in this video, I'll walk you through setting up language tool on your own home server. I figure out the easiest and most efficient way to install language tool on your Proxmax LXE container with Docker pre-installed. After lots of research and testing, this guide ensures that you won't encounter build errors or struggle with confusing installation steps, which are common issues with language tool native installs. Just follow along as we cover the basics and get you up smoothly in no time. To start, we would need to create an LXC container. You can easily install pre-installed containers through helper scripts. Links in the description. Copy the link and execute it on shell. We would want to create a new Docker LXC and use advanced settings. I use Debian, Bookworm, Privilege, Enter a root password. Repeat your password. Keep as default. You can set any name on the container. For the size, I gave it 60 gigabytes, but ideally you wanted to give it at least 30 gigabytes of storage. Since ngrams is 8 gigabytes and is downloaded as a zip file, Docker will also extract the same zip file which leads to more storage usage. Two cores. I gave it 4 gigabytes of RAM, but you can give it at least 2 gigabytes of RAM. After that, you can set other settings as default. I disabled IPv6 since I only use IPv4. And also enabled SSH. I use my boot SSD since it has free space that I won't use. I save the container template on my local and the container data on my ext data drive. Also install Portainer and Docker Compose. Now you can go to the console for the language tool container and clone the repository. CD into the directory and delete the original docker compose file as we will copy the compose file from github and configure and modify the directory of ngrams and pastex which are essentially components for language tool. Create the new docker compose file and copy from the repository and modify the directory to where you have cloned the language tool and save and exit. Once that's done, you can now build Fastex by using the last command on GitHub. It will take a few minutes, but once that's done, you can now start the Docker container. But it won't be fully functional yet, since the script will download and extract engrams and download other components of language tool. You can keep an eye on it by using Docker Logs language tool. If you see the lines of GMT info, like you see on the screen, that indicates that the server has now started taking requests. Another way to check is through the local server of language tool with this link. If you see something similar, it means the server is functioning correctly. With a native installation, starting the local web server can be challenging as it involves troubleshooting build issues and examining various potential errors. To set up language tool in Firefox, download the Firefox extension, select continue to installation, and select add. Now we need to configure the add-on. Feel free to customize and optimize on how you want language tool to work. Now 
the most important thing we need to do is go to the advanced setting. In the language tool server, select other server and paste our LAN IP we got from Proxmox the exact same format you see in the screen. And hit save once you're done. We can test it by typing in websites. Here, I use Pastebin to test if our server is working. All good. The program responds and detects my errors. Also, we can go also check again via Docker logs. For LibreOffice, navigate over Tools, look for Options, go to Languages and Locals, and head over the Language Tool Server. In here, you can paste the LAN IP similarly we did in Firefox, but take note at the end of the URL, make sure the forward slash is removed. It is case sensitive, and I also did not notice the difference at first and had problems with it working in LibreOffice since I copied the same URL from the Firefox add-on. In the writing aid section, disable all other language models and leave language tool remove grammar checker enabled. And also enable check spelling as you type and check grammar as you type. Hit apply and OK. As you can see, it is working. After disabling the other language models, Language Tool is able to detect spelling and grammar errors. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It helps me out starting on content creation. If you have any questions or run into issues, drop a comment and I'll do my best to help you out. Thanks for watching and see you next time.